Good evening. Hello, hello. Can I get your attention for a sec? Or maybe more than a sec. All right, hi, and welcome to the uh, first Poetry Bleeding of 2019. Yay? Uh, so, uh, so yeah, this is the first one of the year. Um, December was really good. We had a really uh, full open mic list, and uh, a lot of our regulars are here, so it's it's nice little community to like hide down there. Hi. Yeah, go get your drink. Um, so anyway, though, uh, we're gonna start with our open mic in a minute. Uh, tonight is gonna be a good night. I got a feeling. Uh, no, not the Black Eyed Peas song. Um, so, with that said, uh, how this is going to work is we're going to have our open micers come up. They're going to do a piece or two. Uh, we'll, you know, we'll clap for them and talk to them after the show. Maybe be nice to them. They're people with feelings. Uh, and then after that, we're going to take a quick little break, just a little bit of a bathroom break an extra drink, a little bit of food break. And then from there, we will segue right into our feature, Ra. Ra Avis, everybody knows the Ra. Hi, Ra. And then uh, after she features and she does a set of poetry, we're gonna sit down over here and just have a little bit of a chat about her work, about her life, about her goals and aspirations, and I'll get all Tony Robbins on her ass. It'll be great. Uh, not really, though. Tony Robbins is a fake. Anyway. So uh, let's go ahead and call up some of our open micers. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. I'm ready. Just like Monday through Thursday, I hear this side of the room, but I don't hear this side of the room. So let's try that again. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. All right. That void in me somewhat filled for a little while. Okay, uh, our first reader, uh, who I've been told is an awesome poet. Uh, this will be my first time perusing his work. Everybody, welcome up to the stage, Donnie Jackson. unit of lynching is two people who don't know how to love each other. There are some dangerous women, but mostly foolish men who believe that what they gaze upon is sight. And even though you look at me from a distance, but in such sharp focus, like the beginning of all assassinations, I now see every bit of you the way the split tree sees lightning as a reach that could not control its passion. There's always something scorched in our touch. Still, I grasp at the sun, let my arrogant hands go blind, stumble across you, led by your smolder, blister my way home until your next word slaps me forward over every line of border, and I beg to be contraband, smuggled tight in your lungs, aching like stolen music, my body instrumental, recrafted of burnt spruce and thunder, strung into dreamt, mingus, hollow, but for the tune of you, girl, you don't know. All I want to do is shed everything solid about me, declare your nakedness, nothing but voice. My fingers an epidemic of serenades make you shiver operatic, turn you a cappella in the rain. Your applause. An echo is just a melody in climax. I love you, especially when your spoken gardenia and your scent scrawls on me like drunken signature. I belong to you. So shackled to this post, fully aware of how loose the soil. Why else would I refuse to wipe the slavery off my mouth after you kiss me? But then you curl as final as dry ink, fist still clenched like an undeclared war, and even crumpled and barely red. I'm still papyrus trying to deny its wrinkles before discard only the weight of words holding my pages in place. You think of quiet as oblivion, ignored as suffocation, so you want to raise my dust, lick typhoon into me, into my breath as a limb snatched from my core, snapped at the joint, and I am strewn, forced to find new misplaced parts of myself in my shambles, a handful of unburied ivory trying to grow back into a beast of the Serengeti. Sugar, but on these nights, 
All I want is for you to press into me. Let your pulse tap stories of how blackberry I am into my shoulder blades until I am so thick with myself. I open color across the sky. I do not want for wings in these clouds stained sweet and in the morning I will know you love me. Even on the days I am made of birds in the air of gunshots. But you don't feel loved at peace. There's no stew without stir, so you're just a dare I bite into to see if you're real. But I taste you not gold, but cayenne, eating flesh, devil blood. And suddenly I'm the water in my own eyes, falling clear and running the way of tears, a wish tired of keeping secrets. I'm sorry you built your life so small that nothing fits inside you without pain. But I can't shrink to fit you without telling God a lie. I'm too much meteor to ignore. There's no atmosphere I enter where I die into pieces. You have to be planet to survive my collide. So, while you claw your way into any chest capable of sustaining life, trying to unearth the heavenly you already are, you cannot stand between me and the light and ask me not to call you Eclipse. Thanks. That was jo uh, Donald Jackson. Everybody give it up for Donald Jackson. All right, so he's not in the line for coffee. And uh, he's apparently scared shitless that he's going after Donnie Jackson. No, no. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, okay. It's, it's okay. It's 2019. If you want to be scared, be scared. There's plenty of reasons to be scared. Okay, well anyway, everybody welcome to the stage, the one, the only, Jonathan Humanoid. That is a true story though. Donnie was the only one on the list, and Bill was just standing there, he's like, I no. <laughs> it was, I just, I, I think it's hilarious, I'm not going to let you live that down, but I knew signing up after Donnie, he was going to do something heavy, I wasn't going to try to follow it up, because it was going to be amazing and beautiful, so I'm going to do something slightly silly. Uh, real quick. Who else agrees with me that dating is weird? Yeah. No, it's too, okay. Some of you are lying. Some of you are lying. Everyone's lying. <laughs> yeah, everyone is lying. Dating is weird. If you are an adult and you have dating figured out, come talk to me. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> so whenever I start to get like close to a woman, I go, I have a disclaimer, and they laugh, and I go, no. What you should know if you are going to date me. You will drip from my lips, melted snow cone on summer's day savored, spill onto the static of reverberating microphones. I will spit syllables that somehow all sound like your name. I will write so many poems about you. I'm not one of those poets making words weak, capable of writing pretty metaphors subtly. They will all be really fucking obvious. My honesty is one of my better qualities, is sometimes debris. Everything about me that is beautiful, everything about me that is ugly, is tattooed on my skin, runs through my ink-filled veins, bleeds onto paper, is my blood. I want you to see all of me. I don't just write honestly, I am honest, and I'm learning not to be ashamed of that. If I like you, that will make me nervous. I talk a lot when I am nervous. Like I once met a man who claimed he could carve a shiv out of any object, could stab someone with a marshmallow if he really wanted to. I can carve anything into a pointless story. If I like you, I will slay silence with sharpened self-deprecation. Like, I am a mess. Sure, that mess is a fun mess, but fun in the way that wet sand is fun. Until the tide changes and the waves recede, then I am a mess, but a mess in the way that dry sand is a mess. There is nothing fun about sand.